Good evening. The Louisiana Supreme Court ruled the funding for the school voucher program is unconstitutional. KPLC's Olivia Vidal joins us now with how this is affecting local schools. Cynthia, the voucher or scholarship program was funded through the Minimum Foundation Program or MFP. This is money intended for the public school system but was going to fund tuition for students to go to private schools. Now the public school system hopes for reimbursement while some hope the program continues in the future. St. Theodore Holy Family Catholic School is just one of the private schools in Calcasieu Parish that accepts the voucher or scholarship program. All our children that we had this year want to come back. That's 19 students in the scholarship program that are hoping to return in the fall to Holy Families, 19 former public school students. Principal Jennifer Bellon is disappointed with the ruling of the voucher funding because she knows what the program is doing for the students who are taking advantage of it. I don't think they're going to stop the program. Too much work's been done. They have seen a lot of improvement, even in the performance of the children, as well as behavior. But for Calcasieu Parish Superintendent Wayne Savoy, he's experienced the challenges from misuse of the funding. There are a lot of ways that they've been using it in the past year that we felt like was very unfair, and it puts a hardship on, par on parishes. Because the amount of funding the parish school system has impacts what they're allowed to do as far as providing the best public education they can. It's certainly going to have an impact on on, hopefully on, on reimbursement uh, if, if the money was taken away from us. Since the MFP money for the voucher program was ruled unconstitutional and the way it was being used, Savoy is hoping the Calcasieu school system will receive near an $88,000 reimbursement, saying the money should not be coming from the public school systems anyway. The state needs to be able to or should come up with a plan to do that. And the state wants the voucher program to work. So they'll just figure out another way to do what they need to do so these kids, and I, I think it's going to, I know it's going to still be here this year. I mean these kids will come. According to Savoy, now it's just a waiting game to see what happens next. He says the school board's attorney is looking through a brief on this case and hopes some good will come out of it for the public school system. At your service, Olivia Vidal, KPLC 7 News. Governor Bob